It can be difficult to browse through hundreds of files just to find the one that you need, so try searching Drive instead. In Drive's search box, enter a word or phrase. To help you search faster, Drive suggests terms as you enter text. You can click one of the suggestions to open it, or click the search magnifying glass to see a list of results. If you know the file type of the file you're searching for, you can select that in this list here, and then follow it up by your keyword for search. The more search tools, or the down arrow on the right of the search bar, will let you narrow down your search even more. There are even more file type options here. You can search by owner status, anyone owned by me, not owned by me, or a specific person. A new search feature recently added is by location, where you can search anywhere in Google Drive, your My Drive folder, or a specific folder within My Drive. Just select that folder and choose Select. You can also allow Google to search in your trash and start items. You can also search by the date modified, anytime, today, yesterday, 7 days, 30, 90, or even just a custom range. And you can search by its file name, the words that are in the file, or who it's shared with. Now I'm just going to reset this here and we're going to start a new search. As I'm typing in the query, Google will auto-populate with search results below or you can push enter to complete the query. When you push enter after the search, the results will show below. You can click the X at the top to clear your search query. The best part of having all of your files in Google Drive is the ability to search. Notice here I'm typing mileage and price list has come up because the word mileage is inside this file. Here you can see inside the file where Google picked up on the word mileage. You can also sort your searched results by clicking on the last modified and choosing last modified or relevance. Now I'm going to do that same search but this time with a filter. So I'll type in mileage again. Now picture I had thousands of files in here. It'd be hard to find them through that list. While my search query is still in the box I can click this down arrow and I know that the file was created sometime between October and December. So I can change those dates using the calendar selector box. Find October, select December 31st. Now I'll click search again, and this will re-perform that search. Now I only have one result that's showing up. Also take a note here how the date is constructed in the search field with the term. You can do things like this as well in the search bar just by typing them.